Hi everyone, Saar from Applicatia, uh, and I will present the guidelines of uh, MacLock, MacLock system and uh, app. So, uh, the outlines that we're going to see here is access control and the use cases and the main features that the system have, and a little bit on who we are and the roadmap that we want to go to. Uh, actually, MacLock system built because almost any uh, organization have different systems that control different, uh, different uh, utilities and uh, uh, different uh, parts of the company. So we wanted a software that can control like main parts of the business, if it's permission and users and uh, access control, alarms, data, uh, so we build MacLock uh, with the help of uh, Mekorot, the water company, uh, that it can control the main features of uh, access control in Mekorot, in the organization. Um, I will go a little uh, fast on the, the use cases and the presentation because you already saw the video but we can we can get data from the different devices if it's SCADA or uh, remote APIs or endpoints um, or even local files with uh, data or databases and show them, show them on graphs and uh, reports and uh, give permissions with the, that data. If a user uh, can access somewhere or a function or an operation or get a report or file or even a mail uh, with alert, we can control uh, we can control the permission with the data that we are connected to. The organization give us. <clears throat> MacLock is unified platform that integrates different security. Now on uh, Mekorot, this is our main uh, client. We are connected to the SCADA system that connected to the alarm of the sites at uh, Mekorot, and also we are connected to a locks API and a locks system that we can send access and uh, codes to open the locks to the client to the end user that have the, the permission and um, we can analyze almost everything every request that we get from the application if a user gets to a site and ask for uh, permission to enter and to set off the alarm and get access to open the lock. We can see where he is by, with the GPS and that uh, he sent, the, the application sent. And if he have access, uh, he will get the, the codes and the alarm will set off and we can monitor all the time that he's in there and if he's going away from the site, uh, we can close the alarm, we can uh, close the lock. Uh, we can monitor all the data that we receive from the application and from the external APIs and uh, uh, data centers. Uh, what are the benefits? The benefits of the application and the system uh, we have locks, uh, locking units that can prevent vandalism. They are uh, very secure and uh, uh, rigid. Not sure how to say it. 
Uh, they are standalone locks. They have uh, an inner algorithm that you don't need to you don't need to connect them to the network. When a user come uh, near the lock, he can uh, connect uh, with Bluetooth, and uh, if he have the right code at the right time, he will uh, open the lock. If not, the lock won't open. And of course, we have several security. Um, measurement on the lock that after a few tries uh, the lock will uh, be, uh, can't be open and you will need to wait a few minutes and stuff like that. Uh, we can manage everything like all the data, all the movement, uh, all the sites, data from uh, far and send data to the end user to to the user on the field, the user that is going directly to the site, we can send him data on the site, on the uh, site uh, parameters and everything that he need. The user can send remote data, can send picture to the system, can send messages, messages but with the app, with our app application to the uh, to his manager. Uh, and to the system itself that then can uh, show the data to uh, the guy that money guy or whoever monitor uh, the data the system uh, actually because we gave the power to the to the end user itself we reduce traffic volume in the main control room like the system is very independent and users can get requests and uh, do operations on their own with the application uh, without any intervene of uh, 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 someone in the control room. Uh, connecting to alarms, already said, we are connected also to the camera so the a user can uh, see the site like a manager can see the side cameras and decide if everything is okay and uh, if there was a breach he can connect to the camera directly and see if uh, something is wrong or someone just forgot to uh, set or open the alarm okay the main feature the system is platform based uh, on a cloud Integration with the customer existing system. Uh, integrate with new system that use standard protocols. Secure access using your personal mobile phone. Uh, this is like a main, main feature uh, on the system because we gave the power to the end user um, with secure access. Ability to integrate with external access control systems and navigation that actually a feature, a small feature, but most of the user are loving that feature because they can go to the remote sites uh, that are off the road, off the maps, uh, with only the navigation that we give them. We save the site longitude and latitude and then the user can navigate even if the site is off-road so all the users are loving that feature and using it uh, daily uh, we now we are connecting to the uh, SCADA system on the MacOS and getting and sending a lot of data through there We have also an emergency button if something uh, went wrong or the user want to report on uh, an alarm or error or something like that. Just in the press of a button, you can uh, uh, send uh, an SOS and the system will alert and show it on the map where the user is with uh, his GPS coordinate. We have also a time attendance module a uh, user will start his work day uh, just pressing uh, uh, start and if you want vacation or end the day or stuff like that uh, we have uh, 
we have a module that is in the app. Uh, about the protection, uh, TLS3 um, application code is uh, uh, obf obf wow. <laughs> obf yeah. uh, unrooted, non jailbreak usage only if a uh, device is uh, uh, rooted, so uh, uh, the user can't use it and the app will uh, just not open and won't give him any permission and any request. It, it won't send any request to the server. Um, SSL access, cluster support, a three-part login authentication. Uh, we use the phone IMEI. We use uh, a login password. We use a username, of course, and we also actually use the endpoint itself. Only uh, the users that got the endpoint, like the endpoint address, can enter it. If you download the app and try to open it, you first of all, you need to enter the endpoint that you want to connect to. So this is also a major part on our security. Uh, distributed environments, we have different servers for different operation. We have an uh, API server. We have a main server that uh, get all the requests and connect to the different um, parts of the organization. If it's SCADA, if it's the database, if it's the locker, lock uh, unit system. Uh, we have also the database on the different servers, so distributed environment. Uh, Mod bus interface for secure inter interaction, this is with SCADA, and uh, logs for every operation that the users do. do. Uh, the roadmap, dynamic online events, alarms and uh, transaction. We have a lot of requests from Ecoro to do different things and from different clients to add uh, to the system because like when every organization starts using it, it becomes a major part of the organization and daily used by the users, by the clients, worker, end users. So they want different uh, modules developed all the time. So in uh, actually in uh, Mekorot, uh, Meklok world map, our world map, um, uh, we have a new GUI design already built. Um, technician and malfunction management, GIS system through the app, including the whole information in real time. This is a major part and a major development that we are working on. Uh, integration with ERP system. Um this is a little bit about uh, who we are. Uh, we are actually uh, eight software engineers. Uh, we have a project uh, management that is very strong. Um, uh, also, we have an, a sub-company, like a different company uh, that is a part of our company that it's an IT company that have trained a technician and expert and in networking and databases and server and stuff like that. Uh, and we did a lot of projects, so we know how to handle projects and big projects, small projects, and how to handle the problems and data and everything. This is a little bit about us. Uh, use cases right now on Mekorot. Uh, 30,000 uh, sites, more than 8,500 sites are connected, uh, 3,000 users, more than 10,000 transactions a day. Uh, system is approved by the Cyber Department of Israel Prime Minister, Cyber and Protection Unit. Um, the, the Mekorot application, I already uh, told you what they are doing, and you saw the video, actually, uh, so you know what they are doing with the app and how they use it, and 
they're using it daily and if the app it will go down even for 10 minutes we will get a lot of phones and stuff like that so that is very important now in the organization they can't work without it and they want to enter it uh, as the main part of the organization like everyone will work with that application um, again this is about everything uh, this is just three screens from the main system uh, and if anyone wants to see the how it works and to see the main uh, screens and how I open uh, uh, sites and users and see the data and the alerts and how the app is working, you can uh, contact me directly. And that's actually it. Thank you for your time. I hope that I was clear. And that's it.